It's time for some carbon-based gaming. Base has stopped for Yasna. I need backup. Base, come in. I have a. I'm showing disturbing symptoms. A brain fog, severe pain in the frontal lobe. Confusion. Last glance, there were no serious injuries. And yeah, I'm quite concerned. I don't even know how I got here. Oh, well, here it is. Backup needed, I repeat. Do you hear me? for a moment. My receiver's dead, but the transmitter it may still be working. can't be detected either. There aren't many supplies, which would suggest a quick recce. Or was that just the end of the mission? if the past me hasn't failed the present me. And let's hope she took notes.
Are we on Regis 3? Doesn't ring any bells. And my crew have no way to tell me. So I report that I have no recollection of this planet. The last thing I remember. Hang on. We've closed the research cycle. We, we were already in hibernation. Flying back. Is my blackout a side effect of metabolic depression? That would be bizarre. For some reason, our crew split into two groups. The first one set up camp. I wonder if I was with them. Or am I on my way there? Both groups landed in the same place. We took two landers to the surface. I don't usually do this. Maybe the first one broke. The first group explored the ocean with no biologist. It's weird. And the other one, just me took a different route. Leading to... Right! I was heading straight to the camp. You must be somewhere near. Okay, I'm gonna head to the camp, but I'll be keeping an eye out for you. Landmarks. Well done, past me. <laughs> you didn't disappoint after all. Oh, I sound like... I need to stop doing this. I'm looking for something that resembles a dog. I called Needle. Right. It resembles the eye of a needle. I report that I have established my position. Time to hit the road.
I'm in a canyon, which doesn't make it easy to navigate. I hope the data's trustworthy and you're close by. Oh, I have something on the tracker. I assume it's no one from the crew, so perhaps it's my beacon. not allow the biosynosis to fall. It won't be easy to replenish drinking supplies. Not without tests. Filtration, as we all remember. Third rule. I was about to. Already awake. Good. My body might be awake, but my brain is still in the fridge. I wouldn't be so sure, my dear. Clearly your sense of humor was first awake. Now, try to get up, slowly. Dr. Gorski doesn't look so well. How are you holding up, Gorski? Don't get up just yet. Is it really so hard for you to remember a couple of simple rules? I have to stretch my legs. They're numb. Hibernation will do that. Just sit for a while. Here, take it and remember the third rule. Yes, I know. Stay hydrated. In small sips. Always the first one to get up. I don't know how you do it, Murray. It's a matter of habit. After so many cycles of cryogenic sleep, one either gets used to it or becomes a tortoise. Pavel, will you help me here? Sure, I'm coming. This is not our system. Has anyone noticed we're in the wrong place? Kovel, it's not a good time. Yes, now look for yourself. This is not the right planet. You shouldn't be walking yet. Come on. Kovel, could you stop it? I'm telling you, we woke up in the wrong place. Yes, we heard you. Enough of this, Yasna. Crew. Astrogator. Debating chamber in 15 minutes. Guess we'll find out. But first, here, hold on to it and remember. It. 
Look for me on your trackers. This area is volcanically active. Ash outbursts and extreme temperature changes may explain the extinction of local fauna and flora. But it's all just too idyllic. There's no dust in the air. The sky is clear and the soil looks like laterite to me. Perhaps not highly fertile, but not entirely barren. On some planets, such storms last for several hundred days. I hope it's not one of them. Oh, the bottom's out of sight. Best not to overthink it. Actually, the only intriguing thing about this place is that there's almost nothing to research. Seriously, what are we doing here? go. Over 400 meters in a straight line. 
I see you. Can you hear me? I just need to get down from here. get down this way. I could attach a rope, though. But, uh, for some reason, I don't have one with me. Here, the ground slopes a little more gently, which doesn't mean it's completely flat. Oh, well. If it catches me, so be it. This suit will hold. Great. A root that won't break my neck. <laughs> I hope. <sighs> okay. I'm at the bottom. <coughs> Looks better from here. I'll be with you soon. Visibility could be better. Maybe I should wait. I'm much closer to my destination. I must have walked for some time. But... I don't remember it. Did... Did I black out again? and hop her closer to the camp. Find a place to land. I need to get back to Dragonfly as soon as possible. Go to the infirmary and do a full set of tests on myself.
Oh, my legs are heavy. The film is not inviting. Legs become too heavy. Hands become too weary. Down you go. Night is not that scary. I remember you. Regis' third satellite. Astrogator, sir. Crew? Dr. Gorski, right on time. Any updates? We have a set of data from the near surface probe. Oh, great. How's the activity? Zero, zero, and two. So, less than nothing. Atmosphere? Nitrogen, 78%. Argon, 2%. Carbon dioxide, zero. Methane, 4%. The rest is oxygen. But wait, that's 16%. With oxygen concentration as such, there should be life. At least some microbes, and yet we have detected no traces. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Let's finish with the probe readings first. Air radioactivity? It's virtually zero. In the word of paradise. No radioactivity, no endospores, no bacteria, no mold, no viruses, nothing. Just the oxygen. If there were no living organisms on the continent, there shouldn't be this much of it. What if life develops on some other continents here? No, I doubt it. Insulation outside the equatorial zone is weak. Do not see how thick the polar ice caps might be. I can guarantee a minimum of five miles of ice sheet, potentially six. Mm, that's true. There's more chance of something in the ocean. Some seaweed, algae. But why didn't life migrate to the land? Could be because of hard radiation. Mm, I don't think so. According to the probe readings, the ground activity is exceptionally low for this part of the galaxy. I wonder if some special kind of drought-intolerant evolution occurred here. That would at least explain some of the abnormalities. Hmm. Anyway, we'll have to take a look under the water. First, it would be good to know what time frame we're working with. Marit, do you have the geological analysis? Too early for mature conclusions, but this planet looks old to me. Such a fossilized egg must be at least six billion years old. Besides, the sun seems what it does too. So I'm used to it. Any rare resources, forms, creatures? We can't expect such detailed data, sir. Not from this distance. Yes, we would have to explore the surface. Astrogator, what exactly are we looking for? The value of this planet. For now, it may seem like the pinnacle of nonsense. But I assure you that Regis 3 is not without worth. With all due respect, Astrogator, I have the impression you're not telling us everything. As always, Dr. Koval, your instincts are correct. Please forgive my reticence. My goal was to maintain unimpeded research neutrality. There is indeed a very important factor of interest in this planet. The Alliance. The Alliance? The Alliance? Correct. What do they have to do with it? Well, they've sent their most powerful unit here. But to our best knowledge, Condor's traversing a distant quadrant. Well, I'm not talking about the Condor. So, the Invincible? Good guess, Doctor. A steel behemoth with the power to produce billions of kilowatts in a split second, converting it into energy fields that no material body can penetrate. Concentrating it into destructive rays as hot as stars that can reduce a mountain range to dust or evaporate an ocean, together with its crew of almost a hundred men, professionals that are neither better nor worse than us. Well, I dare to say we're better trained, Astrogator. Uh, they are, however, unquestionable masters of propaganda. I know that some accomplishments they brag about are very much far-fetched. But the capabilities of the Invincible are not subject to doubt. And we as the scientific body should sever ourselves from the emotional and symbolic facade. In other words, we cannot ignore facts just because we don't like them, Mr. Cole. All right. But where do we stand in all this, together with our, may I say, not quite as numerous staff? Despite our modest forces, we still have a chance to gain a critical advantage over the Alliance while avoiding confrontation. Okay, uh, and how would we do that? 
Simple. We leave this planet before the Invincible arrives here. Which is when, exactly? Well, they're still far away. Astrogator, please. How much time do we have to conduct safe research? 13 days. There's no time to lose, then. I appreciate your eagerness, Coven. Dr. Crowther, do we need full gear? Mm hmm Definitely. Also, I caution you against taking off your helmets for a prolonged duration. This amount of methane is not neutral. Breathing the local atmosphere will lead to saturation drop. And you may start showing symptoms of mild brain damage, feel stupefied. But uh, don't worry, not before an hour or even a couple of hours. I see. Dr. Gorski, will you program Arty to collect samples? Of course. Marit, Krauto, please prepare for the surface. Koval, you too. You're leaving early in the morning. And what about me? You're staying on board, Doctor. But Astrogator... Uh, this is not up for debate. I need you here. As you well know, there's not much work to do for a biologist on Regis Three, if any. Well, if I was ordered to stay, what the hell am I doing here? Thank goodness. Not everyone's in the field. This is Dr. Yasna reporting. Do you copy? I'm entering the campgrounds. Is anyone out there? Oh, it's just an Androbot. Androbot! Robot, stop! What the? Ah, oh, Doctor Gorski, have you made changes to the Androbot's algorithms <laughs> without telling anyone? <laughs> Again? Ah, oh, well, never mind. Oh, uh, maybe if I, RT. Default position. I don't know what's wrong with you, buddy, but you clearly don't want to cooperate. Didn't you hear me earlier? Doctor, is everything all right? Doctor, please, look at me. I report that I've located Dr. Krauter. He's in bad shape. I'm going to examine him now. Temperature normal. Pulse too. O2 saturation is fine. There's nothing physically wrong with the doctor. His pupils respond properly. Look at my finger. No delay in reactions. Astrogator. Finally. 
I've been listening to you for two hours now. My receiver is dead. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. I know everything. The transmitter was still working, so I heard your reports. You didn't have it easy. Wait, please. I need to reconnect. Testing, one, two, three. Ah, copy, Doctor. Loud and clear. Do I understand correctly that the Doctor's life is not in imminent danger? That's my initial diagnosis, yes. Yet no response to verbal communication? None. Conclusions, Doctor? Do you have any idea what's wrong with him? Both mental illness and serious bodily injury could contribute to this condition. However, he wasn't suffering from any disorders. And there's nothing wrong with him physically. Epileptic seizure and chronic diseases can also be ruled out. So what? He's just fine? On the contrary. Something is very wrong with him, and I can't figure out what. Which is even more worrying. I'll prepare the infirmary. But first things first, Lander. We need to get you all on board. Everyone, not just Dr. Crowther. Couldn't we just evacuate him right away? If it were that easy, I would have sent the hopper long ago. Please look for the mission log. Should include crucial data about the crew's activities. We have three more people to find, and you still need to designate a place for the landing. <laughs> Hello? A anyone else here? I found Dr. Crowther. It's not. mission log, but it will do. Dr. Crowther kept records. Meticulous as always. What's in there? The most important thing is probably the landing coordinates. BA-2316. Noting. 316. Excellent. I'm uploading the data. Starting calibration. Hmm. Dr. Gorski has moved away from the research sector, to the west. Ah, that's right. He followed those deposits of metal. Are you looking for the detector? Yeah, just a sec. Got it. Please make sure it works. I don't understand why it wouldn't. It's a rather reliable piece of equipment. Like everything around, it's already broke. <laughs> Touche, sir. Okay. Checked. I'm leaving the tent. It's unresponsive. Yes, I know. I'm currently trying to establish a connection. Can I help somehow? You must look for the others, Doctor. I'll take care of this myself. Get the tin head back on its feet remotely. And secure Crowther. I have everything I need. Just... Is something wrong with the connection, sir? It's not working. I'm not sure why. There's a relay transmitter in the camp, so the signal should be strong enough. A relay? Huh. Yasna, what are you up to? One sec. 
I'm looking for it. You're gonna make them wait? If the Androbot isn't working properly, I can't just leave Krauter like this. He might hurt himself. Uh, fine. Proceed as you deem fit. Fascinating. Did you find anything, Doctor? Nice specimen. Oh, it's still alive. Ah, the fish Dr. Gorski caught. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember. Something. Dragonfly, come in. Uh, hello, Regis. Dragonfly here. Dr. Yasna at the radio. Uh, nothing? Is his leg still bothering him? Yes. He's been resting in his quarters. We're setting up on the shoreline. It's late, but we still have time to examine the ocean floor. Uh, Gorski is preparing the probe for launch. We'll start research soon. Oh, and um, one more thing, Yasna. Yes? It's beautiful here. The ocean, wind, sand. I see just pinching and cramping just at the mere sight. <laughs> <laughs> Should I include this in my reports? I'm serious. I don't know about you, but over the years I've learned to hate the void. We do everything to go further, see more, take mankind one step closer to omnipotence, and then we can't even take a walk on land. As if enjoying everything that's around us was almost a... I understand how you feel, Koval. After all these years, I miss home too. Is it that obvious? I come across as... Well, erudite, but at the end of the day, it's simple bombing that speaks through me. Well, a little obvious. We have to examine the composition of the ocean, but the... Collect the mineral samples. Yes, that's right. Do you want to do the honors? Koval, where are you going? Over. For a little Break around... the water. I'm switching to my... Wait, Recky. I'm going to take a look around. Distance, 100. Bench, are you there? A recce. More like a quick sicky. <laughs> Am I hearing this correctly? Are you going to smoke, Papa? Uh, no. No, not at all. I'm staying dutifully at my station. 500. That me. Am I seeing this right? Dr. Crowther, would you please have a look here? Of course. Just a second. It's like... Uh, school of fish. This is life. What are they doing? They're moving away from us. From us? We're talking about an artificial robotic gizmo. Right from the pool. As soon as I swim closer to them, do you see what happens? Is this normal yet, now? What do you think? Bates, can you hear us? It's hard to speak of normality here, but... Animals are usually not afraid of equipment, or, or anything they haven't seen before. Are you saying they've already seen probes? I've no idea, but their behavior suggests some sort of defense mechanism. A catch at least one for examination. Then I'll be able to say more. Come here. One more time. Got it. What did you do? I had to electrocute it. Wouldn't have caught it otherwise. I'm taking the specimen ashore. That's a fine one. There'll be plenty to dissect, Yasna. <laughs> I've got bad news. Our signal is far too weak to restart that Androbot. A relay malfunction? Not exactly. It's completely fried. I don't think a sandstorm could cause such damage. Well, that's irrelevant now, Doctor. There must be a spare somewhere in the camp. Please search for it. Uh, 
No luck. They're not in here. Not here either. I have the extra relay. Excellent. The signal should be back as soon as it's turned on. should help. Good, good. It's receiving instructions. Ugh. I don't know if the Androbot should already be doing something. Is it still frozen? Yes. Unfortunately. Hmm. The positronic brain has correct readings. Receptors. Hmm. It worked. He moved. Finally. Artie should be walking now. Does he? His positional data hasn't changed. <laughs> well, you can see that he really wants to go, but still can't. Uh, please check his legs. Hmm. Could be the server motor. Ah, that's it. Gotcha, you tin bastard. Uh, thank you, Doctor. I won't hold you any longer. Go find the others while I finish here. That's an order. Yes, sir. Works. Quilter. 
five meters. Careful. found the area marked by Dr. Crowter. There's no one around. What do you think? Can we land the hopper safely here? I think so. Solid ground, a large flat area. We won't find a better place. Entry point? Will it be 50 meters? Air accessibility is paramount. Yes, it's relatively clean. You can send hopper, sir. I seem to have gone too far. I can see the field markings that Dr. Gorski left behind, and I haven't found anyone yet. They all may have left the area as well. But before you move on, make sure to check the whole perimeter. As long as I'm here, let's see if I can spot someone in the distance. Hmm, right. Anything interesting? Unfortunately, no. I'm going back. I should move. Oh, there's no time. I'm entering the research area. Clear for now. Tracker? Silent. By the way, what did they find here? Oh, right. You don't remember. A piece of metal sticking out of the ground. Sounds inconspicuous, but in this desert environment, it's a phenomenon. The artifact turned out to be too big to dig up or to subject to chemical and spectrometric analysis. Dr. Gorski set out to investigate its source to find some end 
And? Did he? That I don't know, unfortunately. It's here. I can see the structure. I'm in the right place. Understood. Please continue. Got someone. I'm following the signal. on the ground. It's a journal. Geological cross-section. Measurements. These are Marit's notes. Oh, she must be somewhere close. Please search the entire area thoroughly. I'm close, but I can't see her. She's here. I found her. What her condition? Marit! 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 Wake up! Wake up! Do you hear me? Dr. Marit? No. No vital Wait, functions. What's I need two. One. Two. Three. Come on. Come on. One. Two. Nothing. Don't do this to me, Merit. Don't. Please. Me a minute. Of course. 
Everything will be fine. All fine. Covel's next. Yes, I think so. You should be close. If you enjoyed that video, please like and subscribe for more. Or consider checking out one of the related playlists on the channel.